2009 Ford Escape. So I was called in to work on this vehicle. And uh, this actually belongs to one of the body shop guys, uh, heavy frame guy who does all the big work. And one of the first things I've noticed was when you're looking over here, do you see where that aluminum line is rubbing against that aluminum right there? They're touching right there. That means something got bent and twisted. Somebody did some work here. Two pieces of aluminum should never rub because they'll rub through and one will cause a leak in the other one. So that tells me something was done. I do notice some buffing powder here and totally clean over here. The paint is too clean to be new, so I know there's been some work done on this. Uh, let's see, we have thing bent off in this direction. These are broken and were put in later, redone. They're different. These are not factory. None of these are factory. These were all stuck in later. So this tells me this whole entire wiring harness under there was out. So now I know wiring harness was out. Uh, what else do I see? We're just doing a quick once over. I see anything out of line. Got a really big gap there. This is a hybrid. There is an electric compressor in here and it does have a rear AC system. Now, another thing, I connected the line right here and I think this might not have liquid in it because it's about 80 degrees down here. This is about 80, seems a little low to me. But what I noticed when I had a little refrigerant leak out of here and I put my nose down here and I smelled it and it smelled kind of foul. It's kind of smelled like a dirty fish tank. And that usually is when a system really has a lot of moisture. And because this is POE oil, ester oil, ester oil breaks down, it's kind of like salad oil. And if you ever smelled rancid salad oil, salad dressing oil, olive oil, that's like two or three years old and you didn't find it in the back of your uh, closet somewhere or something like that, and you pull that out and smell it, that is how this smells. That's how I can describe that. So, there were some issues. Something has been done to this. Somebody either used shop air to leak test it before or really contaminated refrigerant. I don't know what it is. Uh, I'm gonna go get my, I just wanted to see pressure. I'm gonna go get my uh, refrigerant analyzer and I'm gonna take a sniff of this with the refrigerant analyzer first. And you can see how the green, that wasn't there before. Every time I put my gauges on somebody's car, I always know I worked on them. Um, Okay, so this is video number one on this without me even starting it up, just a visual. I already know there's there's going to be issues or there was issues. We'll find out in the next videos. Okay, I gotta hop over here, oh, drop that. So I got three more. So that was the body shop guy. He grabbed me while he, I was here. He wanted to know when I was here. So I got one right there. Then I gotta do this one right there, it's back together. And then I just started recovering this one right here. So get this one, ah, get this one recovered. And, uh, and then charge all those ones up. And then I could go home, because it'll be the end of the day. All right guys, we'll be back, because I know I'm gonna have more video on that Ford, uh, whatever the hell that hybrid was. All right, see you guys.